Our heroes landed at the LZ and made contact with Colonel Slug, uncooked. Their orders were clear. They had to transport the Colonel to the military checkpoint due north to clear the facility of any Zed threats. Unfortunately, Ollie forgot the map on the chopper. They would have to rely on Mike's bird-like sense of direction. There's a reason why he was known as the Pigeon. He often ate with his face devoid of any hand coordination, but that's another story. They were off into the wilderness, and Ollie would make up for his mistake by foraging and crafting an absurd amount of spears that no one wanted. Token was itching to use his firearms. It was his first time out in the apocalypse, but not being able to see beyond the trees meant we had to keep it quiet. And so they traversed the wilderness, filling in their own maps with insanely precise renderings, and a sense of dread around every corner. Colonel Slug handpicked this team, and they were up for the job. That job was mostly just walking in the woods and picking up mushrooms. These were some of the best walkers you had ever seen. I mean, just look at those strides. The form, the elegance, truly, the world had never seen such trekking. Now, if you're still watching, you may be wondering why an Australian is narrating. And I would politely ask that you don't. Learn to let go and be in the moment, this very long moment in the woods. They're going to be here a while, so why I know. Get comfy, grab a Foster's. I'm sure the editor will cut most of this out anyhow. Mike's impeccable navigation was no match for the rotational speed of the Earth. Night was coming, and there was still no sign of the base or proper roads. Our heroes must trek on. Day broke and it was time to get moving. They hadn't slept a wink cause Ollie forgot the sleeping bags. He would be put to a firing squad once the mission was over. But he would finish the job. What a guy. With a sigh of relief, Colonel Slug allowed the use of firearms on pavement. And Token couldn't be happier. He loved pavement. The men cleared the road and found themselves getting closer to the facility. Ollie was relieved. Mike was relieved. Token was mad with power. The Colonel was playing Metal Gear Solid 3D on 3DS. That version of the game had a feature where you could use the 3D cameras to make your very own camouflage, complete with a stealth rating. Truly innovative stuff. Luckily, he had a new 3DS and didn't require the extra attachment for the circle pad. Time is running out. The men could learn a thing or two from Snake. He didn't forget his map. He knew when to stay silent and concealed. He could fight a man with a gun of bees, a gun of flippin' bees. He could manipulate time to kill his opponents of old age. He really was a legend, but this was Slug Hound. The Slug unit would have to carve their own place in history. Except for Ollie, he would be executed in the morning. They were finally at the entrance and Ollie was still using his knife like a genius. He then picked up a pickaxe, you know, that very wieldy weapon of choice for all special operations. The Colonel dreamt of a salt bath. I 
few Zeds learned to use cover too. The situation was getting worse by the minute, and Colonel Slug's 3DS did get a single street pass. Like, come on people, now more than ever, we need street pass. They breached the doors and Fortune was on their side. Ollie got bit. High fives all around everyone. He also had a helmet on his person and just forgot to wear it. Token had to talk the colonel down from shooting him himself. They found some lockers full of guns and ammo. They stocked up and got ready for whatever else was awaiting them. Beyond the halls, it was zombies. More zombies, no communist with unexplained lightning powers. Just zombies. Damn, they were living their best lives. Ollie got thirsty and could just not wait to clear the area completely. He went in for a drink, fumbling his tiny paper cone cup thing that were only good for about 10 seconds before they would disintegrate right before your eyes. This of course amused him, distracted him and led to his end. His KDR was pretty good though. He watched in horror and hunger as his teammates continued on without him. They barely noticed his absence, but they didn't make it either. Colonel Slug defected to the Soviet Union, joined the Cobra unit and became the new big boss. The men served valiantly. Their sacrifice will never be forgotten. Remember to like and subscribe for more Zomboid content. The best is yet to come.